We are Ben and MP and two years ago we decided to buy a sinking boat with one goal in mind, transforming that wreck into our dreamy home. And that's what we've been doing. For now, we've been building a boat, hull, waterproof, walls and so on. However, now we're going to really try and start having some creative fun with what we're going to do with the interior. Today, we are going to make a full pile of scrap wood become our favorite piece of furniture yet. Don't forget to like this video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out and we will love you forever for it. <laughs> That's true. We have been using scrap wood for a while and with that we meant the leftover wood that we were using on Yaba. However, now we're really going into the scrap wood, which is even the small bits which are lying next to the boat from other boats. And we're just mixing all the different types of woods together, which I think is going to give a nice finish once this is all sanded and varnished. So yeah, we're just trying to fill up what we can with some scrap wood and it's looking amazing. We're using glue and nails to make it nice and strong and then we're going to fit it in. And you'll see where. This is going to be very cool. Dilson has done an amazing job with this. I really like the different tints in wood and the fact that this even has paint on still from another fishing boat. So this is probably the outer, you can see this outer two layers of paint. However, this is going to be sanded smooth. If necessary, you can fill any of the gaps that are remaining with epoxy. But these and that one over there, have a quick look. There are going to be inserted in when you come down the stairs. This is going to be one of the first things you're going to see when you enter the boat, which is going to be super, super cool. Since the beginning of the build, we've always wanted to work with stuff like this. However, everything was so structural, like the columns here, the hull, the frames, the beams, the roof, which is all structural and has to be waterproof. However, this is not as, well, it's not structural at all. It's just a closed wall or a cupboard. That's how we can start working with a lot of this now, finally. On top of that, it's also nice that we have access to so much wood here, which is old wood, and we're so happy we can reuse a lot of it. So even though this might have looked like an old piece of scrap wood in that pile, once it's actually cut and or planed nicely, got this really nice color to it. We've got Angelique, what do you call it, Angelique in here. We've got Garabeira, which is the hull of our boat. We've got Canel, Canelão here, which... Canela Merda, which means Cinnamon? Oops, cinnamon <laughs> shit? Yeah! <laughs> cinnamon because of the color, and for Trina, for the smell, and poop for the smell. I've got loads of different woods. I have to ask Toninho which ones they are because he knows it all. last. <laughs>
Ich habe das Ich the entire hull like this. I just came out of jail. I just came out of jail. I <laughs> cannot do it anymore. All these louvered parts of our sofa have been varnished, they're looking great and I think that now is really the time that we can really work on details like this, making nice louvered beds, working on details of the doors, varnishing them, so bit by bit the interior is taking a very, not just shape, but with detail and, and color and everything. Look at the details in here. How nice is that? Too nice. And what, speaking about details, what else has been done? This beautiful panel that will be protecting people that are going down the stairs from the stove if it's ever hot, also for splashing and hygiene. So we made it a bit taller. The stove will be right there. And we really love how we managed to use a lot of different pieces of wood that were just thrown here at the yard. They're gonna become probably trash and now they are this. Beautiful. Name as many woods as you can. Gotta pay them. <laughs> the one we always use. Uh, is this pink cedar? I really don't know. And it's gonna be amazing when the varnish is on because all the colors will pop. Angelique maybe. I, I. I'm not aware of what we used here. I just know it's looking very nice. And it was gonna go to waste. Yeah. I think this is about ready, of course it's going to put suck all the varnish into the wood and I'll go over it once or twice more and flip it and do the other one as well, but I think I speak for most people that this was very, very satisfying to watch, seeing all these colours pop. Uh, we were hesitating of putting some sapwood in here, which we did because the, even those little colours are a different colour and it just looks super, super nice. And the edges over here are going to be epoxied because we're going to use epoxy glue to glue them in place. So I can varnish them, but I don't think there's much point. But look at that, it's super amazing. I'm excited to do the other one as well. that our furniture is really taking shape the next step will be to add the doors and the shelves and everything but before we start hiding the hole that's something very important 
that we have to do you know that a while ago we opened this sponsorship program that you guys could adopt some frames of our boat many of you have adopted a piece and now is the time we're gonna add your name to your adopted piece we didn't want to do it before because the hull still had to be prepared now that the slats are in place it's finally ready because otherwise the names will be behind the slats that wouldn't be nice so now we can finally add your names of your adopted pieces we are so excited about this because then everyone who adopted a part of our boat will be able to sail along with us as all your names will be here so i'm very excited about this and let's get started Over the last week, yeah, just over the last week, we've had some family over from home, which is really nice. So we've been spending a lot of quality time at home while we've left Nico and our Jilson in charge here on the boat. And we do not regret that, that decision because we gave our Jilson a little trial period to test out some of the doors for the cabins, cabinets, sorry, cabinet doors. And he did not let us down because what he came up with is absolutely amazing. As we have lots of the louvered parts in the boat already, we don't want the entire boat to be louvered because it's just very heavy on the eye. Uh, jilson has been working on some cabinet doors that do let some airflow through, but will not be completely louvered. So this is what the doors are gonna look like. This is the part that's gonna let that hole breathe or the cabinets themselves. This part is gonna be closed. We still need to figure out what we're gonna put in here, but we can already start putting them in place. Uh, putting some hinges on them and start working on closing up all the furniture around the boat. Damn it. Whoopa. These four doors, or actually doors to two shelving areas, are practically done except for the middle piece and the hinges. But this is so you can kind of have an idea of what they're going to look like. We still don't know which wood we're going to use here. We're going to see what we can find down below, or maybe order some just to get some fuller pieces. Um, also inside you might think that the sh simple shelving will not be enough on a boat because it will all slide around and move around. Our plan is to start with some simple shelving and then on that shelving or in these uh, 
doors, you open the doors and there's going to be lots of little sections, maybe a little section to hold the cups in place, a little section to hold the plates in place. So it's not just going to be one simple shelf where everything's going to be moving around. Uh, and we're going to try that for absolutely everything, including the drawers. We want to have little sections inside the drawers for, I don't know, spoons, forks, over there maybe camera gear or anything. So for now that that's going to be later, we're going to do that bit by bit. We're still missing uh, those over there. So it's going to be very similar to these or identical to these, just different sizes. A lot of the stuff we can't do yet because we're waiting for a fridge, an air fryer, and the stove to be here before we actually start closing stuff. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we can start placing the tops on some of these already, and on that one. Uh, but for, the, for today I think it's going to be one more set of those and it's really cool because we'll get to show you how these were put in place. Uh, how these attachments, how these joints were made. So, Matt. Is hopefully the last time you'll see it as open. There we go, you can hear it already. I don't know if any of you recognize this piece over here. We're just sanding it down to make sure there's no nails inside it so we can put it through the planer. This one is obviously going to be removed. But this was the bulwark of Yaba before we put a new one on. You can see exactly where the stanchion went as this is the scar that it left. The next stanchion was over here which left another scar or rot and another stanchion was here which isn't even part of it anymore because it's crumbled off. Uh, actually, I should have shown you before we sanded. The reason this the reason this bit is green is this is where the Yaba logo used to be. And that was all painted. Well, it, the boat was painted without removing the logo and the original paint of Yaba was green. Hopefully we can turn this into some furniture now. We've got a bunch of other, now it's all blue. We've got a bunch of other stuff that we can use as well. It's very cool to use all the recycled wooden stuff. However, we can't just go into this scrapyard and find whatever wood we like. There's two main characters that we have to look at first, thickness and length, which is what's gonna become the furniture. Once we've got that sorted, we bring it over and we sand most of it down. It doesn't have to look perfect for another two reasons. 
One, to find sapwood. We don't want sapwood in any of the main structures. We will use it in that wall that is in this episode, but it looks nice and it's not structurally. However, we don't want any sapwood in the doors of the furniture or the main structure of the furniture. We also sand it down to make sure there's no nails, because Toninho is not very happy when we stick a piece of scrap wood with nails through his planer, which has never happened before. Anyway, once it's been put through the planer without nails or without sapwood, it's ready to be cut on the table saw to the sizes we need and then turned into furniture. I am so happy with the result that we obtained here, not only because of the looks of it that I really, really like, but also because we're carrying the story of other boats that have been in the shipyard on Yaba now. I don't even know where this wood came from. I just know it's from boats that were here once. I don't know even how long ago. So I'm super happy with this part of story and beauty that we are carrying on Yaba. <laughs> Kyle and I would like to welcome Joseph for joining us on Patreon and also Wiley, Joseph, H-E-A-D and also Duane for leaving us a super thanks. Thank you so much guys and see you all next Sunday. Hey you. Bye. Go ahead. Hey.